In other news, a group of enthusiasts are spending their free time hunting for fungi along Singapore's green corridors and helping to document the species they find. Take a look. Bukit Timah Nature Reserve, in the heart of the island, is where many head to for fresh air and outdoor hikes. But not for Timothy No, who is on a hunt for something on the forest floor. Unbelievable! Look at them! Wow! I've never seen these before. Look at the colour, it's so vivid. How would you ever miss this mushroom when you walk by them on the trail, right? We're in for a treat. What a day! A mushroom enthusiast, he has spent the past two years combing forests in Singapore. Check out these big boys. The 48-year-old is part of a group of fungi spotters that documents different species. They get permits that let them collect specimens for research at the Singapore Botanic Gardens. One time where um, a, a mushroom spotter actually spots something and it came to my attention was um, this fungi that was dark brown uh, in Bukit Timah Hill in a prominent area, which no one has seen for the past 80 years. So sometimes things like that they are so obvious, but it's just overlooked for 80 years. I would say that biodiversity is amazing here. It's just that it's so little studied and a lot of them are known. The number of mushroom spotters has grown in the past few years. A Facebook group has even sprouted up, where members share photos of wild fungi they spot. There's a rather morbid mushroom joke. Uh, all mushrooms can be eaten, uh, some can be eaten only once. So it's usually a good idea not to think about eating mushrooms when you see them in the wild. For myself, when I first spotted blue mushrooms, I was very surprised. I didn't know that there would be uh, such colours existing in, in the fungi families. There are a lot of other varieties. There are ones that look like corals, and there are also a type of fungi that we call stinghorns in general. They have a very unique shape too. The group's efforts are crucial for researchers, as the life cycle of fungi is short. Some pop up for as little as a few hours to a few days. Mushrooms are essential for keeping nature going. The decomposers recycle nutrients, which are crucial for new life. So for me, I started out with zero knowledge about mushrooms and mycology. Then there's always this burning question. What are they? What's the names of these mushrooms? How do they grow? And of course, the question that we all want to know, is it edible? I learn with friends, textbooks, apps, and you learn from just a lot of time in the forest. A digital database of Singapore's flora and fauna has recorded almost 180 species of fungi so far. More are still hiding on logs and in the undergrowth, just waiting to be discovered.